What's going on YouTube? I am excited to present to you today an extremely boring topic known as the difference between sharps and flats. So you have to know this because if you're trying to play any chord progression and there is a C sharp minor or a B flat major, you should be able to figure this out no problem. So if you have fears or think this is confusing, it's really simple and I'm gonna explain it to you now. Let's flip it up to the camera above. So we're gonna start on a C. And I'm gonna walk you through a couple of examples to put the sharp flat argument to rest. What is a C sharp? All you have to think of when you think of sharp is you go up and to the right. So C sharp, that's all it is. You're going up a half step. So if you hear someone say go up a half step, all they're saying is sharpen whatever note that is. You sharpen the C. So C sharp, I'm just going up and to the right. What about E? So you may think, oh, I went from a white key to a black key here. I have to go up and right to the next black key, which would be an F sharp. So that's actually wrong. This is confusing, and I, I don't know why people wrote music this way, but we're going to start off with an E here, and we're going to play an E sharp. So we're just going to the next note over a half step, which is an F. That's it. Now, what about flats? So E flat, I'm on the E and we do something a little bit different. Instead of going right, we're going to the left. We're going up and to the left. So E flat, we go down. We go down a half step right here. So we're playing E, play an E sharp, you go up, go back down to E, E flat. Now E flat is also known as D sharp. So if you say, hey, play a D sharp, and you'll notice on the keyboard that you can see right above this keyboard should be you know, about right there. You'll notice that everything is written in sharps and that's just to eliminate confusion because if you have sharps and flats, it just gets like too much text on the keyboard. So we wanted to simplify it for you. But just know that an E flat and a D sharp are the exact same thing. So this was a very boring topic, but we needed to clear the air here to make sure that you're not confused when you're going and trying to find chord progressions to play your favorite song. So let me know in the comments what else you guys would like to learn because I'm out here to help you guys. I want you guys to improve and dominate playing piano. Additionally, if you want to learn how to play your favorite song the fastest and easiest way possible on the piano, check out the private video link in the description down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.